the woman who is responsible for bringing birth control into the mainstream and making it legal in the United States was a woman named Margaret Sanger. Now, this Margaret Sanger was a eugenicist. She believed that white people were superior to other races. And she, like the Nazis, you know, believed that certain races were inferior to others and that we need to uh, encourage those people not to reproduce so that we can just have the good people reproduce and the, the fittest and the strongest people reproduce. And she was a big part of the eugenics movement in the United States, which, by the way, there was a really big eugenics movement in the United States. You know, everybody always wants to pin that on the Nazis, which it's true that they were involved with it, but you know, a lot of it they got from the United States. <laughs> this is where a lot of the eugenics was pioneered, okay? And so she started an organization called the Birth Control Federation of America. And do you know what the Birth Control Federation of America later changed its name to? Planned Parenthood, which I call Planned Baronhood. Okay, Planned Parenthood, that wicked organization that conservatives rail against for being pro-abortion and pro-death was actually originally known as the Birth Control Federation of America. So you can see the type of evil people that are behind this agenda. She's the one who pushed this through and got it legal in the United States. She's the one that promoted it and made it mainstream. This wicked, evil person named Margaret Sanger, who is an evolutionist and who was uh, not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ by any stretch of the imagination.